The PDM controls all the pod's functions and has a touchscreen similar to a smartphone. The home screen has three main views, dashboard, basal and pod info. There are two main actions you'll perform when navigating the Omnipod Dash PDM, tapping and swiping. Fields that you can edit are either underlined or framed by a box. To edit them, tap the field. This opens a keyboard, number pad, slider or scroll wheel. While using the PDM, you will also encounter toggles, checkboxes, radio buttons and drop-down lists. Options icons appear on the right side of certain lists. Tapping the options icon brings up a list of options relevant to the item in that row. Both the on-screen back buttons as well as the triangle button beneath the PDM screen can be used to navigate to the previous screen. The circle and square button beneath the screen have no function. Accessible from any home screen view is the bolus button at the bottom of the screen. To access more settings, tap the menu icon on the upper left side of the screen. The status bar at the top of the screen will display information about the volume of insulin in your pod as well as your PDM's battery charge. During use, the PDM will also display confirmation messages with a green banner at the bottom of the screen. It will disappear after 5 seconds. You can swipe the banner to the right to dismiss it earlier. The PDM uses Bluetooth wireless technology to communicate with the DashPod. To set up the PDM, first insert the battery that's included in the starter kit. Turn the PDM over and use the attached pull tab to remove the PDM's back cover. Insert the new battery and snap the back cover into place. To turn on the PDM, press and hold the lower, smaller of the two buttons on the side of the PDM. The larger of the two buttons control the volume. You may increase the volume or decrease it down to vibrate. On the top of the PDM, you will find the micro USB port for charging or data exchange. All personalised PDM settings must be entered into the PDM before use. The PDM will keep a 90-day history of all blood glucose entries, insulin delivery and any other actions that may occur. The PDM does not automatically adjust time, date or time zone. Be sure to adjust your PDM's time for daylight savings. If you are travelling to a different time zone, be sure to adjust the time zone setting. After activation, the PDM must be within 1.5 metres of the pod for communication. Once programmed, the pod does not need to be within range of the PDM for basal delivery to occur. The PDM is rechargeable, similar to all smartphone devices. While the battery should hold its charge for more than a day, we suggest you charge the PDM while you sleep and try to stick to that charging schedule each day. Unlike the pod, the PDM is not waterproof. If the PDM gets wet, damaged or exposed to extreme temperatures, please contact customer care to assist with troubleshooting.